Okay, hello YouTube, YouTube subscribers, and fish tank people. Here today I'm going to be doing a species profile. It's going to be my first. I just want to see how I contribute to the community and how other people will share their knowledge with me. So, my first um, species profile is going to be about dun, 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 the Spod Grammys. They come in a number of different colors. So, in my tank, I got blue individuals and gold individuals, but there's also other versions. There's also a brown morph, there's a Cosby morph, there's the Opaline morph, there's the Platinum morph. So, they're a fairly variable fish in terms of coloration, both natural and um, both natural and uh, artificially created color morphs. And one thing I want to talk about first I'm going to talk about is their um, their basic uh, morphology, their size. So they're usually listed at growing up to six inches, but normally you get individuals that are between three, like this guy, and closer to four, like the blue guy in the back. So um, you rarely ever see a six inch um, spot Grammys. You occasionally see five inch ones, but mainly you're going to be seeing three to four inch individuals, with the males being a bit bigger than the females. And their sexing is very easy. The males got a large dorsal fin, they're a bit more colorful, and they have a slimmer body. As well, all their fins are a little bit longer too than the uh, females, which tend to be quite plump looking. But that's not always the case. You sometimes get less voluptuous looking females, like this one I guess you could say. She is um, actually the runt of the group, because how small she is compared to the Arab individuals that are similar to her. And um, about that, they belong to the same family as the betas and the other Grammys, like the Paradise Fish. Uh, so they have a labyrinth organ, and as you see, they have to gulp air every once in a while, or else they'll drown. So you gotta have space between your water surface and your lid to make sure they don't uh, suffocate in your uh, aquarium. So um, one thing about them is, uh, since I've talked about size, I'm going to be moving on to uh, feeding. These guys eat pretty much anything. Any flake food they'll eat. Pellets, as long as they fit in their mouths, they'll eat. These guys, I've fed these guys shrimp pellets, beta pellets, small grade cichlid pellets, algae wafers, um, tube fix worms, blood worms, mosquito larvae, garlic yesterday. They eat pretty much anything, but you gotta feed them a good staple food. It's a good staple flake with some treats of maybe worms or brine shrimp every once in a while. That's all they need. They're not too picky. And as for their temperature requirements, they are tropical fish, of course. 22, 25 degrees is usually good, but they can withstand up to 30 degrees fairly easily. Or even 36 degrees fairly easily, actually, but 22 to 28 degrees is where you should keep them at for good health. And now onto their compatibility, which is a bit of a tricky thing. Um... They're usually sold as community fish, and this here is a community tank, but this here is a large tank. This is a 75 gallon. Most people that own aquariums do not have a tank this big. So people... So when you buy these tank fish, they, you think of them as community fish, but they're, biff, they're community fish with an asterisk on them, okay? They, they're, they can be aggressive at times, and sometimes there seems to be this random aggression, so... If you're going to be keeping them with our fish, make sure the tank is at least a 29 gallon, at least 30 inches long or so, or else they, they can just get too aggressive for your smaller fish and end up killing them or stressing them out. So, um, about their compatibility is their compatibility among their own species. So, you see I got two males here, and usually when they're side by side, they don't really get along. So, you gotta have enough room for them to have territories. So, if you got Two males, say, in a 30-inch tank. Big males probably just go and bully the weaker one. But in a longer tank, they will split their territories. So, you have a 36 or maybe a 48-inch tank so the two males can form territories. And another thing to keep in mind is, if you're going to keep my group, keep two males. Well, if you're going to keep my group for every male, keep two females. Because that will allow the males to distribute their aggression between each other. And they won't end up harassing one female too much. And they'll also display a lot more to uh, help com to compete for uh, mates, potential mates. So they'll show better color, like these two. Right here. Who they just enhance their colors just as they saw each other. And um, as for compatibility, 
they have a very small mouth, so they can't really eat fish unless the fish is a lot smaller than them. But if you have a larger tank, they're less likely to bully your smaller fish. So right now I got these guys in here with these. Uh, I guess they're supposed to be as red robin grammys, and I think they actually are true honey grammys, who are much smaller than them, and they're not being that aggressive. But in the smaller tank, they'll just be fairly aggressive towards your smaller fish, and they can end up killing them. So um, you just make sure they have their space. Make sure you got a good amount of decor, driftwood, rock, plants to just make them feel more comfortable and in a more natural setting. But they can live without that, even so you could do like your weird Spongebob Squarepants tank and they'd be fine. They might be a little less natural behavior, but they, they'll, they'll live. So, um, uh, one thing interesting about their compatibility is they can be aggressive towards any other Grammy. So, even like a Beta, Beta tries to get involved with your, uh, female Spot Grammy. Big male Spot Grammy's gonna come by and like slap your Beta, silly. So, like, my big blue male over here, can't really see him that well, he's killed Betas, he's killed Dwarf Grammys, he's killed Iris Spot Grammys, and that was because I was foolish, and I had him as too small of a tank, so as the tank got bigger, he just got less aggressive. So, um, this is species profile number one, so the Spot Grammy is an alright starter fish, as long as you got a larger tank, and as for compatibility, I would say um, keep them with um, other Grammys is all right. Avoid cichlids. Zebra danos are good. Giant danos are good. Barbs are good. Guppies. Uh, larger tetras. Tetras that won't nip their fins, of course. Fish that don't nip their fins. Angelfish work. Just make sure you got space. Make sure you got space, and you'll have a fish that will live a long time. A fish that's adaptable, a fish that's flexible. So, um, this has been the first species profile on the Spod Grammy. Well, it's called the Blue Grammy, the Alpine Grammy, the Gold Grammy, Cosby Grammy. Just call them wherever you want. They're just good. They're a pretty good fish. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.